Hello and welcome to the Fat Boss Guide to the Hungering Destroyer in Castle Nathria. So this encounter has few mechanics and is relatively simple, however many of the boss abilities will wipe you instantly if you get them wrong, so having a full understanding of how most of the fight works is very important. With that in mind, let's jump straight in. So throughout the fight, members of your raid will be debuffed with Gluttonous Miasma. The amount of them that you'll get will scale with your raid size, with a maximum of 5 of them in a 30 man raid. You will see 6 in this footage, but the boss has since been nerfed. These debuffs make you immune to healing whilst you take light ticking damage. You can however leech health off other players in your raid by having them stand within the small zone around you. Two players will counter the ticking damage and three or more players will begin to heal you. The boss's abilities are largely avoidable, however he will cast desolate dealing raid wide damage, so you will need to keep three players in each circles at most times just to keep those players topped up. Now whilst you could do in depth and complex assignments for who is soaking which circles at which point, it really isn't necessary especially in larger raid sizes and it's likely going to take you longer to get your first kill. We instead recommend having all debuff players loosely stacked behind the boss, with their circles overlapping in a way where players can be leeched by both debuffs at the same time, but not so close that the debuff players are leeching off each other. This looks messy and it kind of is, but it does work. As long as every raid member aside from the tanks is being leeched on at most times, you'll find the debuff players are rarely close to even dying. To make this messy strategy a little bit cleaner, we'd recommend to bring one more healer than you usually would, just to cover the extra damage that players are likely going to be taking otherwise. There are however three abilities that make this strategy slightly risky if you've got people with slow reaction times. The first ability is Volatile Ejection. On a timer, the boss will mark three players and send a beam across the ground towards them once he has finished his cast. This deals a large burst of damage but importantly leaves a debuff that increases the damage you take from this ability by 500% for 40 seconds, so this will one shot you if you're hit by two lines. As a result, players targeted need to either run to the left or to the right of the raid, making sure their beams don't overlap. Having a single beam hit the raid isn't going to kill you, however the debuff will. The boss will never target the same people for the beam each time, allowing the debuff to drop before they're able to be targeted again. However, if the raid has just been clipped by one because someone moved out too slow, then you can get unlucky and have an already debuffed player who was randomly hit by the previous ejection be targeted for the next set of beams, which will one-shot them. The key here is just to react quickly, and use mobility spells if you have them to give more time for the other players targeted to react to your location. Now, The second ability to watch out for is Expunge. This is a debuff applied to the entire raid, placing a targeting circle around every player that will explode when it times out. Now the higher your health is, the smaller the radius of the circle. When it comes to this, the entire raid will want to fan out around the edges of the room, however healers can remain within melee, allowing them to continue to top people up to reduce their circle size. After exploding, you want to return back to the raid as soon as possible, just to help heal up the people who have the debuffs. Now after you've exploded, on Heroic you'll also be leaving behind a Rift Orb. These deal damage and knock back anyone who comes into contact with them, and they never despawn. For the most part, these can be ignored throughout the fight, aside from the ones that the healers have spawned in melee. You want to soak them up when nothing else is going on in the fight, or if you have a defensive up. Now, the last ability for the debuffs to watch out for is Consume. At 100% energy, the boss will begin to drag in all players towards him, whilst leeching their health over 6 seconds, and this happens every 90 seconds or so. You want to move out beforehand because the closer you are, the more damage he deals to you, and you want to use healing cooldowns to counter this damage whilst maintaining your miasma soaking formation as much as you can. We found it very useful to mark a location in the room for the entire raid to move towards. That way we made sure that no leech person was left alone. If this area does happen to be covered in rift orbs, you can always just have someone soak them beforehand, either with an immunity or if they're just generally healthy. After the consume, you can return to the boss and the fight simply repeats. But that's everything the raid needs to worry about. As for the tanks, you want to tank the boss in the middle of the room to give maximum space for people to drop their expunge circles. Aside from that, you want to keep an eye on the boss's growing hunger stacks. This increases the damage and the amount of health that he leeches from you with each of his melee attacks. This stack can be reset by taunt swapping, which you'll want to do around the 5 stack mark. Additionally, you want to watch out for the Overwhelm cast. This just does a large burst of physical damage, so having something up for every hit is a really good idea. But largely, that's the encounter. Soak the debuff players and don't overlap expunges, and place them in decent locations so you don't run out of room, and you should get a pretty easy kill. Thanks for watching, guys. If you'd like to know more about this encounter or any of the other fights in Castle Nathria, then do go check out our guides over on Wowhead. A link for that can be found in the description below. Take care, and we shall see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.